despite Lex Luthor's short-sighted views, the Justice League must maintain its autonomy. Decisions by political committee take too long and could cost lives. Behind us is the former site of the Hall of Justice. It's been two years since the Hall was destroyed by alien attack. And the committee to renovate the site is deadlocked on how to proceed. Now imagine this process. Luther's process applied to the life and death missions of the Justice League. Really, Lex Luthor, how do you find the time to be a leader of nations and the supervillain the League frames you to be? <laughs> it is exhausting, G. Gordon. Honestly, though, I have grown weary of these tit-for-tat public statements. Certainly the League sees the difference between autonomy and oversight. We need accountability and transparency. That's why the UN has had a satellite parked near the Watchtower for the last two years. So, we watch the Watchtower, but who watches the Watchmen? Even your own LexCorp has oversight, correct? Of course. To avoid any conflict of interest with my current duties, I place LexCorp in a blind trust. My sister Lena now runs LexCorp. Ms. Luthor recently made headlines by pledging LexCorp funds to the Metahuman Youth Center. Are you saying you had nothing to do with Lena's charitable grandstanding? Why, G. Gordon, I'm not saying anything at all.